Hey, we welcome you back to another episode of the Quarantine Choir. We're glad that you joined us once again. This week's special guest is Byron Fox. Brother Fox is the president of Bible Truth Music, and he serves out of his local church in Virginia, crisscrossing the country and singing, teaching, preaching, and assisting pastors. Uh, does a fantastic job with all that he does. Also oversees many God Bless America conferences and rallies in different parts of the country. Uh, Brother Fox is an avid songwriter, and uh, he truly loves the Lord. You'll see this in his spirit when he comes to teach in just a moment, but I'm thankful for Brother Fox. And uh, several years ago, I had the opportunity to meet him at a music clinic, and we've had him at our church several times since then. But I'm grateful for Brother Fox. Anytime you get around Brother Fox, uh, you will come out blessed because his spirit is just contagious. And so we're going to turn it over to Brother Fox at this time and enjoy this lesson. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God. While I have my being, I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to my God. I will sing praise to my God. Well, hello, my friends at Parkside Baptist Church, the dear choir members, orchestra members, specials, music singers, uh, keyboardist, all of you dear folk, uh, Pastor Wells and Brother Casey Palmore, God bless all of you. We're in a unique situation uh, in America right now, but I'm glad that Parkside Baptist Church is marching on. You see, God's people are a pioneering people. And God has his people always to rise to challenges. I want to share with you today one verse from the Word of God about music. You know, there's over 700 um, references to music in the Bible, over 330 verses in the Bible dealing with music. And uh, one of them is this one, Psalm 104 and verse 33, where it says, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. There's four parts to that verse. I will sing. I'm going to give you four D's today in this little verse. Um, I will sing. D number one, determination. I will sing. God's people are to be a singing people. When you get saved, God puts a new song in your heart. That's what the Bible teaches. And... Um, I know when I received Christ as my Savior, I wanted to sing uh, for the Lord. And so we all need to make a determination. I will sing. God's people are a singing people. If anyone has anything to sing about, it's God's people because our song is not based upon our circumstances. Oh, no. Our songs are based upon faith in God. So number one in this verse Psalm 104, 33, I will sing. Now, choir members uh, at your house, in your car, wherever you find yourself, keep singing. Oh, just keep singing. The verse says, I will sing unto the Lord. So we have the determination, but we also have the direction. I will sing unto the Lord. Now, God's singers, we sing... Uh, for the Lord, we sing about the Lord, but we also sing unto the Lord. Oh yes, our songs don't just go outward, they go upward. Yes, we actually sing to God over and over in the Bible. It says, sing unto the Lord. Now that's not a suggestion. <laughs> no, that's not a suggestion from the Lord to sing unto the Lord. That's not a suggestion. No, that is an imperative. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing that God would want to hear us sing. I mean, think about it. None of us are perfect singers. I know I certainly am not. Have you ever sung the wrong note, <laughs> sung the wrong word, come in at the wrong time, held onto the note too long? All of us have made all of those infractions. But in, st in spite of all of our blemishes and all of our flaws, and even in spite of our sin, we that are redeemed, oh, the direction of our music is we sing upward. And God wants us 
to sing to Him. He invites us to sing to Him. So listen, choir members, whether we're assembled together or not, if we're separated because of the virus, oh, just keep singing. Your family needs to hear you sing. They need to hear you sing to the Lord. Your friends that are around you, just keep singing. I will sing, that's the determination, unto the Lord, that's the direction. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live, the Bible says. As long as I live. That's what the verse says. As long as I live. That's the duration. So choir members, how long are you going to sing? Well, at one choir rehearsal, we sing an hour, an hour and ten minutes. In church services, we sing a few minutes. But really, the, you choir singers, the Christians, we sing all life long. My father-in-law, I preached his funeral two years ago now. He was my favorite preacher to hear in all of this world that I've ever heard. I heard him preach over a thousand times. His favorite hymn was, his favorite hymn was Amazing Grace. He loved it. He was in the hospital about to go to hospice care. Family all gathered around. And he wanted to hear the family sing Amazing Grace. This was one day before he passed away. So my wife, this was her dad, in that hospital bed. All my brother-in-laws, all my sister-in-laws, they're all gathered around the bed, and they begin to sing my father-in-law's favorite hymn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. In that hospital room, about 30 folks gathered around. My father-in-law began to sing Amazing Grace. My father-in-law, who was dying of congestive heart failure, he really couldn't sing at this point. By the grace of God, we videotaped it. Someone had the presence of mind to videotape it. And you'll hear my father-in-law sing one phrase. That's all he had the energy and the strength to do. But his voice came in with all the family singing one phrase of that beloved hymn, Amazing Grace. Amazingly, my father-in-law was able to sing to God the next to last day of his life. Oh, that's how long a Christian sings. Not just in the present, not just now, but all life long we sing. I will sing. We've made up our mind. We have made our determination. I will sing. It's a choice. You've got a choice today to sing to God or not to sing to God. I will sing. Make your choice. You're going to sing to God. I will sing unto the Lord. That's the direction. And then what's the duration? As long as I live. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. And then there's one more thing. The verse says, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to God. My God, that's the devotion. Our fourth D is devotion. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God. You see, he is my God. I received Jesus Christ as my Savior on a Thursday night in 1972. I didn't know Christian songs. It's the first time I'd ever heard a choir sing in my life. I was a little boy. I was an unchurched little boy. And I heard a big choir sing that night. I don't know what they sang. I was so unfamiliar with all of it, I don't know what they sang. I remember, though, that a big choir, we were, we were uh, doing a citywide crusade. Twelve independent Baptist churches were working together to try to win everyone to Jesus. And they got me to the meeting. A big choir sang. I'm sure they sang for the Lord and to the Lord and about the Lord. Well... On that Thursday evening, I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. And I learned a little phrase of one song. I learned this. It's a grand thing to be a Christian. It's the best thing I know. They sang the whole chorus. They taught that entire chorus that night. I didn't learn it all. It's all brand new to me. I was a brand new baby Christian. I didn't know Amazing Grace. I didn't know At the Cross. I didn't know the song Victory in Jesus. 
But I've learned one little phrase of one little Christian chorus. It's a grand thing to be a Christian. It's the best thing I know. You see, Jesus Christ became my Savior that night. He's my God. I hope he's your God too. I hope, I hope everybody there in Texas receives Christ as Savior. I want, I want everybody, I'm in North Carolina as I make this video. We've just finished three weeks of a drive-in revival. We believe God wants us to go on next week. We're trying to bring everyone to Jesus. See, he's my God. I will sing unto the Lord. Oh yeah, that's, that right there is the determination. I will sing. And that's the direction, unto the Lord. As long as I live, that's the duration. As long as I can sing, I want to sing to God, for God, and about God. I will sing unto the Lord. As long as I live, I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. Oh, folks there at Parkside, do not lose your song. Yes, there's problems around us. We glance at the problems. We're aware of the problems. But we keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now, you choir folk, do your vocal exercises. Work on your music, whatever you can. Whatever Brother Palmore asks you to do, try to do it. Whatever Pastor Wells calls on you to do, try to do it and do it with the right spirit. But do not lose your song. We took that verse... Psalm 104, 33, and put it to a little children's song. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God. While I have my being, I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to my God. I will sing praise to my God. I want your children to learn this verse. What's learned in song is remembered long. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you musicians, keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep singing for the Lord. Keep a merry heart. And just do all you can while we can in the cause of Christ. God bless. Thank you, Brother Fox, for being with us this week and for sharing that with us. It was some fantastic teaching. And uh, we are grateful for you carving out some time to be with us this week. Join us next week. We'll have another special guest, Lonnie Moore from Kentucky, will be with us, and you'll not want to miss that. God bless you. Have a great week. We'll see you back soon.